Hollywood is a world in which you can hardly trust others. And for that, Hollywood has also given us many examples of many celebrities who have fought because they released private information about others. This has been the case between Doja Cat and Noah Schnapp. However, despite all the drama and turmoil caused by these disses, it seems that Doja may have a chance with Joseph after all. Do you want to know all the details? Do not miss the complete video to know all the drama. Famous Hollywood feuds include Tyra Banks vs. Naomi Campbell, Lindsay Lohan vs. Paris Hilton, Lonnie vs. The World, and now Doja Cat vs. Noah Schnapp. First things first, what happened between Noah and Doja Cat? Let's start by mentioning that the person in question here is actually Joseph Quinn. Because… well, here we explain everything in detail. Stranger Things 4 Season 2 was released earlier this month, making the television series Netflix's biggest success of the year. The Duffer Brothers production, which premiered in July 2016, has captivated millions, including celebrities such as American rapper Amala Ratna Zandilet Lamani, better known by her stage name, Doja Cat. But what is Doja Cat's connection to Noah Schnapp? Their worlds are vastly different. Doja Cat is smitten with none other than Joseph Quinn. But who exactly is Joseph Quinn? Joseph Quinn is a well-known British actor. He has appeared on British television in Dickensian, Howard's End, and Catherine the Great, among others. He has also appeared in the BBC series Les Miserables in Strike as a supporting actor. In 2022, he made his television debut as Eddie Munson in season four of Stranger Things. Eddie Munson is well known now. So here's the answer to all of our questions. Doja Cat and Noah are linked through Joseph Quinn. There's no denying that the fourth season of Stranger Things is still on everyone's minds as we try to process what happened in the series' final episodes. No need to worry about spoilers, however. As this episode came to a close and the Duffer brothers announced plans for a spin-off, the strange situation involving Noah Schnapp and Doja Cat left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. The creators introduced us to Eddie Munson, the leader of the Hellfire Club of Calabozos and Dragons, who has won the hearts of thousands of fans thanks to his charisma. But despite that, a lot of people fell in love with the character of Joseph Quinn. Even if there was one specific person who went out of their way to get to know the actor who plays this much-loved meddler, none more so than the singer of Say So. So here's the situation. Noah Schnapp revealed a series of strange messages he received from none other than Doja Cat a few days ago on his TikTok account. The artist can be seen in the video sending a direct message to the Stranger Things actor, asking for Joseph Quinn's contact information because she wanted to go out with him. And no, this is not a joke, it happened. And it didn't end here. She was clearly smitten by the actor who played Eddie Munson, as she asked Noah whether Joseph had a girlfriend. Schnapp suggested that Doja contact him directly, but the singer said she didn't know if he used social media. Will Byers eventually handed him Quinn's Instagram account, and the story ended there. Doja obviously did not anticipate Noah's next moves. The following is a screenshot of the conversation. The conversation between Noah Schnapp and Doja Cat, of course, quickly went viral on the internet. And as expected, the artist was not amused that one of Stranger Things' protagonists leaked their conversation as she made very clear in a recent Instagram Live in which she discussed this topic with all of her followers for the first and only time, and established her stance on the matter. Doja began by stating that Noah is still very young, 17 years old, and she understands that he is capable of making mistakes or doing stupid things, but that does not excuse him from publishing their private conversation without her permission. Despite her obvious distress, the singer attempted to remain calm, stating that what he did did not define Schnapp, even though it was his fault. However, she was obviously very upset. Like, Noah is like, I don't know how old he is, but there, he's not even over, like, there's no way he's over, like, 21. And he might be. Like, I could be wrong. Um, but, like... When you're that young, you make mistakes. You do dumb shit. I'm like trying to be super fair. You do dumb shit. You say dumb shit. You fucking fuck up relationships with people. You, you make mistakes. Like you're supposed to so that you know 
you're supposed to do stuff like that so that you know not to do it in the future. Like, I, I did my share of fuck ups so that I don't fuck up again. The singer is seen in the video attempting to express her disgust and disappointment. And while she didn't make any strong claims about the actor, she did say that she did not expect it. But the fact that this person, that Noah did that, like went and posted a private conversation between me and him is so unbelievably like socially unaware. Evidently, she felt betrayed by a fellow celebrity. So Doja Cat just learned a lesson in social media. She knows her way around social media, but she's learned now that you can't tell a 17-year-old who your jam is and expect them to keep it a secret. The singers and Netflix stars' millions of followers, for their part, have engaged in a public debate on Twitter, with differing perspectives on what happened. Clearly, social media began to play a role, with many fans voicing their displeasure with the singer. It's so funny how y'all try to villainize and attack black women for being reasonably upset and uncomfortable, and try to paint them as aggressive. Noah Schnapp had no right sharing Doja Cat's DMs without permission for TikTok without consulting her. One fan tweeted, Despite this, only a small number of people actually support Doja. The majority of the comments on Twitter are critical of Doja's decision to message Schnapp in the first place. Sorry, I have to laugh at the Doja Cat Noah Schnapp situation. Because why would you go to a 17-year-old known shitposter asking him to hook you up with his 29-year-old co-worker and expect him to be 100% serious about it? Let's be real." Another tweeted. Others, however, are more offended by her live stream. Doja Cat appears to have responded to the backlash. On July 8th, Doja tweeted, "'Y'all are so cringe and lame and nobody wants to hang with you. That's why I'll be on here unironically writing replies to shit that makes you mad.'" Though she didn't mention it specifically, it's clear that Doja disagrees with many of the online interpretations of her conversation with Schnapp. When she liked a fan's tweet about the situation from July 8th, she made it clear what she was referring to. No one was mad at you for DMing him when he posted and they were all laughing, the tweet said. But the second you express your concern, it's, why was she DMing a 17-year-old? Like, they need to be serious. Meanwhile, Schnapp hasn't said anything about the incident since deleting the original TikTok post. However, apart from all the drama, this is not the most important thing. The real news is what Joseph has said about Doja Cat. Apparently, close sources told a renowned magazine that Joseph was very flattered by Doja and the whole thing that happened with Noah. Though he was upset that Noah had betrayed the trust of a fellow entertainer, Joseph wasn't ruling out the option of dating Doja. He may have even made the she's kind of cute comment. For his part, Joseph has not confirmed or denied any of these statements, but it's very evident that he is on Doja's side and that something could probably grow there. Maybe a friendship, maybe a nice relationship. We still don't know. What do you think of this drama? Do you think it was wrong that Noah put their private conversation with Doja on TikTok? Do you think it was wrong that Doja wanted to meet Joseph through Noah? Leave us all your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news from your favorite celebrities. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.